Today on Grand Touring Concepts, we install a new wheel. That's right, a nice Italian racing wheel. Stay tuned for that. You may recall when we introduced Ivan 2104 in our very first video, Sean had this to say about the factory steering wheel. Crappy, cheap steering wheel that does nothing. So to fix that steering wheel problem, I ordered a brand new Nardi steering wheel from Lada Moscow with the adapter to put it in and we're going to show you how to install it properly. The reason why today we're going to change the steering wheel on Ivan 2104 is partly because of my big mitts, manual steering and a steering wheel where the horn ends come almost the whole way out. While I'm in a parking lot and I'm trying to do hand over hand quick maneuvers, I honk at everything and it's getting rather annoying. Like right out by the ends and it honks. So I wind up honking at old ladies who instantly think they're hot, all kinds of problems. So we're gonna change it out for a smaller aftermarket one that also is thicker and fits my hands. Step one in this project is to remove the fuse for the horn. Mostly because as soon as we start messing around pulling the screws out, it's gonna start going off like Christmas. So it's simple, pull the cover off and we'll line that up so that, okay, now with that one, fuse out, set it up there out of the way. Now the horn should not go off anymore. Perfect. There's four screws in the back of the steering wheel we have to remove to get the front cover off and you'll need a stumpy screwdriver to get at them because the dash gets in the way. And they suck. With the screws removed, all you just simply do is lift your cover out, but make sure you undo the wire. Nice and gently, take this, throw it in the garbage, keep it, sell it on eBay, I don't care. We won't be reusing it. Now we just have to loosen off the nut and get this steering wheel off of here. Next up is to grab a 24 mil socket, the ratchet and extension so that you can get in onto the nut that holds this in place. Put her on, hold the wheel, and knock the nut loose. Then simply, easily will come off. Now one of the uh, tips I highly recommend is when doing this, leave it on a couple threads. Leave that nut on there so that when you go and pull to try and bring the wheel off, when it comes free, the nut will capture it and you don't take a wheel to the face and broke your, break your nose. I've done it at work, blood everywhere. Uh oh. There. Easy as that. And that nut saved me again from a broken nose. We're back at the bench. We have the old steering wheel sitting here to compare to the new fancy Nardi steering wheel that's going in it. Nardi's an Italian steering wheel company that makes for Mercedes, BMWs, all the high-end European stuff, as well as their own Fiat line and the Lada's because of Fiat. You can pick it up from Lada Moscow. I particularly really like this one. It's hand-wrapped, stitched. It's got nice leather. It's got a bigger size ring to it, so it fits my hands well. I can get a good grip on it. And if you compare them, it is smaller in diameter to the stock one, which is better for me because my legs and knees get in the way. This here will be a much greater improvement for drivability in this car, especially for a bigger guy. Here's your adapter that you have to have to put a aftermarket steering wheel in one of these cars. It just goes in place where your normal steering wheel is, use the nut down deep inside, and this will let you maintain your horn. That's the most important part. Especially here, if we don't have a horn, that car is not legal for the road. On this particular setup, due to the way the horn is designed, because this will fit any aftermarket wheel that has the six mounting holes, I have to remove the inner ring. It normally is used to help center this up, but the horn centerpiece will not sit inside with that ring in the way. So I have to remove that ring so I can use the horn piece, which is quite simple. Big screwdriver, put it in place, lock, press around till it comes out all the way. Just like that. Now the horn will be able to go down inside and life is good. Next stage in the process is to install our hub adapter. You can pretty much put it anywhere you want, but for simplicity's sake, is line it up so that your two top mounting holes, which are at the top of the steering wheel as well, are in the up position when your wheels are straight ahead. So 
gonna go out there. First thing we're gonna do is put a little bit of grease on the back side because this little contact pad here rides on the back and that's what gives the connection for your horn. So you want some grease or something on there, some schmoo, because otherwise it'll make noises and it will drive you crazy. I know that because this one was dry and it was driving me crazy. And the way the splines are offset, you can actually index this any numerous amount of ways till you get the holes exactly where you want. Now we take our... Oh, there we need to help you. Yeah, that. We need the nut that holds this on. Oh God. Problem with the big hands again. We got it snugged up. Once we get the steering wheel bolted in place, we'll hold that and then we'll tighten it down really good. But for now, that's the next step. And it gives a bit of a clean finish to it too. With the center support in and the adapter, we can now move on to our main piece, the steering wheel. It's really quite simple. Put it up in place, line up the holes, and then just put the little bitty screws in place. It's also why it was important that we index this thing and made sure that all the holes lined up where we want the steering wheel so this thing will stand straight up and down without having to readjust anything. With the steering wheel installed, now we can take our wrench. We now have something we can hold tight with. We've reached down inside and the main steering wheel lock nut, we can actually tighten up and get it tight. You do not want the steering wheel to come off in your hands. That's actually happened to me too. That's a very bad thing. In the race truck, actually once. There, that's all tight. Now it's just a matter of putting our center piece in, putting the fuse back in and seeing if our horn works. We have our center horn piece. All you do is you plug it in, line it up, get the small finger or big fingers, small parts. There, as simple as that. Then get her kind of centered up to where you want it. Push in all the tabs. And then there, shoves in, locks in, centered up. Good horn. Now we just gotta put the fuse in, see if it works. We have our little fuse again. We just now to put it back in place. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> ah, I was holding the horn. Well, we know it works. Scared the shit out of me. Ah, ah, almost, there we are. Just like that. Now, if you will, Darren, hit the horn. What, again? It works. Beauty. So, cover and we are done. And that wraps up that project. That was a dead easy install. It took all of 15 minutes. Anyone can do it at home with basic hand tools. Shouldn't be an issue at all. Just watch out for that steering wheel when you pull on it, though. Make sure you leave the nut on. You don't want a broken nose. Yeah, don't break your nose. So, as always, follow us on Facebook, follow our page, gtconcepts.ca, as well as you can find us on the internet and various forums and other lot of enthusiast sites. And until next time, we'll see you again. Later.